Michael, hello. Hello, man. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet Congratulations you. Congratulations on the film. Can you Thanks. tell me um, why Magneto is a more fun X Men to X Man to play than some of the others? Uh, of the other X Men? Mm. Um, I I don't know. More fun. I I just think there's there's some well uh, to be the sort of counterpoint to Charles as Xavier. I just love the. Um, uh, the whole concept between these two characters who both want the same thing but have very different means to get there mm -hmm. and to have sort of two guys that are enemies on one side but then best of friends there's a complexity in that relationship which I think is very real and adult and um, and you know it's, it's fun to be able to fly and well his powers and, are you know, cooler aren't to, they? yeah control magnetic field I think it's uh, it's pretty cool yeah definitely now when you're in a big famous ensemble like this is the is the inner thespian saying I'm gonna act you guys off the screen is there a, an element of competitiveness in you absolutely once I put the cloak and the helmet on it's uh, it's you have to hold me back um, you know it's uh, yeah I mean I think you know it is quite theatrical I, I, you know these sort of things because um, they're sort of larger than life characters, obviously, and there's, as James was saying before, they're almost like sort of in Greek mythology, you have sort of demigods. They're, in a way, they're sort of that representation of sort of modern era. So it is quite theatrical. Now, Hugh Jackman said that in between takes, you dance to uh, Robin Thicke's blurred lines. That's right. Yeah, we did a lot of dancing on set. Um, you know, it's sort of uh, singing and dancing, and Hugh is a singing, singing and dancing man. Uh, so, yeah, you know, you sort of have long days where, you know, it's, it can be sort of tedious sometimes when you're filming, especially very sort of technical stuff with green screen. So anything to lighten the mood is, is always uh, welcomed. And uh, you're up against someone like Hugh if you're singing and dancing. You've had a lot of variety in your career so far. Do you, do you look at his career and think, yeah, musical, that'd be a bit of a laugh, I'd be up for that? Sure, I'd like to do a musical. In fact, um, Steve McQueen and... I have been talking about doing musicals, so hopefully that'll uh, come to fruition. I read that you, you're hardly ever at home. You're a guy who's just sort of, you like to be constantly working and you enjoy the stimulus of being on a film set. Um, Don't is, believe anything you read, man. <laughs> um, it's, uh, I, I like, uh, I mean, I have been working pretty consistently, um, but that's just because certain opportunities come along and it's, they're just too good to sort of let, let them go by. So. I suppose for the last couple of years, again, it's been it's been fairly non-stop. I'm going to be working on this film next called uh, Trespass Against Us, which is about a gypsy family, and that will be filmed in the UK. Okay. Can I also do a bit of uh, Fassbender myth busting? Okay. Because I think one of the things people really like about you is you're quite an, an enigma. Oh. And um, th now this I read, but this was an interview with you. You said, I, and I just want to know if this is true because this was quite cool. Okay. Uh, that you were having a, a bottle of a wine with a friend, and it was from Argentina. Yes. And you liked it so much that you flew to Argentina. That's true. That very day you flew? Or? No, no, no. Not the very day. I can't remember how long it was. Whenever the job that I was doing finished, and he obviously has to finish his his sort of semester. He's a professor, so. But I think it was in maybe a month or so after, whenever, whenever it was, we were both free. Okay. And any motorcycle trips lined up soon? <clears throat> and, um, hopefully, I don't know when, but um, I think maybe the next one will be South America. Cool. All right. Yeah. Great nice to meet one. you. Thanks, man. You too.